Hello and thanks for visiting Saramani Nissan and Kia of Saramani's service facilities. This video was put together to help showcase some of our programs on the service drive merchandising. As you can see from this video, many of the items are part of the Sonic uh, requirements. We went a little bit farther and some of these items we think helped us become a Sonic Automotive All Pro Service Department. As you notice, some of the daily specials we put up, but we also marketed tires very, very hard here on our service drive. We do not have an enclosed service drive, so we had to make the best, the best of what we have. So we have tires located in strategic places near where the cars are written up. As the advisor inspects the tires and wheels, wouldn't you know it, here's a brand new set of tires right in front, with a sign on them saying, we'll beat anybody's prices. Just to the left of where the car gets written up is our complete tire rack. Not only talking about the tire prices and availability, but the fact that our labor is cheaper than anyone. And again, another sign that nobody beats Ceremony Nissan and Kia of Ceremony's tire prices. But we went a little bit farther. We also put a rack on the service drive with a set of worn tires, showing why alignment is so important. So I'd suggest you do this as well. This keeps tires in their mind. Another set of Goodyear tires under wrapping on the other side. Across the service drive is another requirement board by the Sonic Automotive, the comparative pricing board. We keep this updated weekly, and I put a small asterisk there to show that some cars um, are a little bit higher and to ask your advisor for details. Some cars require synthetic oils, etc. We also went out and made special stickers showcasing our ZMAX pro um, program, and there's free installation when they buy ZMAX across the counter or on the service drive. The same with the mock products as well, the pre-oil cleaners and the fuel injection cleaners. Hi, this is Module 2 of Service Merchandising. This is right next to the service department in our lounge. You notice we have the same tire rack showing the tire prices, availability, and the fact that nobody beats Ceremony Nissan and Kia of Ceremony's tire prices. The sign also says Dare to Compare, and it's important to put the labor. What does it cost to install a set of tires? Again, nobody beats us. We compete with anybody. Have this right outside where the customer lounges. This keeps tires fresh in their mind if they do get a uh, request for new tires. We also put in here, we probably recommend ZMAX. We have offer extended warranties, car covers, and we also put in our premier vendor um, informational boards, such as the round table pizza up the street. That really doesn't benefit us, except it shows the customer that there's a place to go when they bring their car in for service. We have our employee, the month board across the way, the fact that we're, uh, we've gone green dealership, and that we offer Wi-Fi, along with the children's play area as well. These are things that are important to put in your customer lounge. Again, another vendor sheet showing all the different accessories that our vendors um, supply. Our new owner clinic. And then another sign here to the right shows what warranties are on the parts that are replaced at a dealership. As we step in Module 4, I will be talking about the website merchandising to show exactly what the customers expect from us, from the products to the service. We also created a web page that is interactive with the customers. We call it the Nissan Pit Stop. The online pit stop was created to show the customer exactly how to properly maintain their car. We also provided video coupons for the customer so that they could get the full benefit of checking out our website. These coupons were also printable so that the customer can print them out in their physical copy and turn it in as soon as they get to the service drive. Welcome to Module 5, the first service appointment. Once a vehicle is sold, the salesperson then puts a first service appointment request into the drop box right outside the service advisor's desk in plain view of the service manager's office, where I, as a service manager, takes it to the cashier every morning so that they can put it into the system. They verify it and confirm with the customer, make all necessary arrangements. This system works out great. We found you can easily increase your email capturing percentage by asking the customer, would you like us to email you a copy of your warranty repair? You can get the warranty repair copy in the search screen and email from there. Hi, welcome to module number seven, the ASR process. Here at Ceremony Nissan and Key of Ceremony, we've taken it to the next level, where the technician goes to the computer and enters the parts uh, requested on the computer. It then goes to the parts department and comes out in a printed form where the parts department finds out the prices and the availability of the parts, and then she can email it to the service advisors right at their desk, which means we can then email it to the customer, which is another way to capture their email address and make the system much more efficient and much easier to track. Hi, welcome to module number eight, which is the Decline Service Ops module. In the ADP system, there's a labor op that the service advisors use when a customer declines a repair. 
However, here at Ceremony Nissan, I've advised the service advisors to let me know when somebody declines a repair that's over $300 or is a maintenance item at a major interval service like a 30, 60, 90, 120. So I have the opportunity to explain the importance and the reasons why you need to take care of your car. And the other items would be anything to do with safety or reliability. So it's important your service manager gets involved in the upsell process himself if they meet the criteria that you've set. This is one area that's helped us in the uh, key performance indicators report number four that we all look at on roams, uh, line item number 14. The requirement is to be above 65% as average. We run in the mid 80s. Uh, this helps the gross drastically, gets a service advisor and service managers to work together as a team. And in some cases, I even send them a picture of their car. This, car, this carries a lot of weight when they're looking at their vehicle, their condition of their hoses or their belts at the time the car is in for repair. So something to keep in mind. And once you email the customer that, you know, these are the hoses and belts that you need and this is the expense that it'll take to fix it, once they email you back and say okay to do it, that's a legal record of an upsell. And you can attach it to the repair order and it's an electronic uh, file forever. So it helps, um, it helps speed along the communication process and make things a lot smoother. So have your guys get as many email addresses at the time of write-up as humanly possible. There's many different advantages to it. And, of course, getting the Rome's numbers up helps as well. Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Doug Davis again, the service manager of Ceremony Nissan and Kia of Ceremony. As we run many different reports to track the performance and efficiency of our departments, I find that on the key performance indicators report on the Rome system, number four is a very familiar report to many managers. And the, the three or four that I find are most crucial to daily operations that I share with my team every morning before start is question number five, which is the effective labor oper operations and the dump percentage of our pe penetration. We need to be over 95%. We're currently at 97.7. And another crucial line item is number 12, one item repair orders. Uh, this will be very important. You want to have as many items on a repair order as possible. Our goal is to be below 35%. Here at the store, my GM has set me to be below 25 he knows how important it is to have as many items per, as possible on an RO. We're currently running 19.6%. I watch this every day. And the average items per RO um, is 3.1. Uh, the next item is number 14, which is a menu ups closing percentage. It's crucial that your team is above the 65% requirement. We're currently about 75%. That's when a vehicle enters a service drive in need of a service. The system will know if the, if the mileage is around 14,000 or 17,000, and if the 15,000 mile service has not been done in the past, it'll actually flag that car knowing that we should have sold it a 15,000 mile service. And that remains the same if it's at the 30 interval or the 60 interval or the 90,000 mile interval. So it's crucial that your menu ups closing percentage rates stay above the 65%. That is number 14 on your key performance indicators report number four. So I'll have a quick video so you can see where these fall on this report. This is one that you can run every day. The next one I provide my service advisors is the daily repair order count. This is on your um, key indicators report, item number 20. It's a total shop, includes customer pay, warranty, and internals. Uh, this report I'll show you in the video shows the amount of customer pay, warranty, and internal ROs with a total every single day. You'll notice in their MOR meeting, sometimes I believe uh, repair order count is mixed up with line items on a repair order. So this is a very important report for you that can really show you the actual totals. You'll have a video of this following in just a second. The next report I run and provide after review to my service staff in the morning is the uh, wrap report. This is a conventional report most all service managers run for their staff. However, you can get a real true picture of their actual customer pay performance level or, or number if your service manager uh, excludes everything except CC. This will give you a more accurate picture of where your staff really is uh, in hours per hour and effective labor rate with their total sales as well. This will also be shown here in a video in a second showing our average uh, hours per hour and customer pay 2.6 and our effective labor rate at 130.74. That's with a door weight of 130 and a Rome's grid at 145. Hope this is helpful and thanks for watching our video here at Ceremony Nissan and Kia of Ceremonies Fixed Operations. Thank you.